Good Monday morning, YouTube. Just kind of show you what we got going on today. We got our arsenal of Milwaukee tools with us. You'll see Zach up there. He's got the Milwaukee blower. We're trimming shrubs. He's kind of blowing the stuff out. You can see where I've been edging. I've got the edger. Just makes a nice clean line. We're out trimming shrubs on properties today, cleaning properties up. I got the Milwaukee switch tank. I got the DeWalt hedge trimmers. I got the Milwaukee hedge trimmers. Don't pay attention to all the junk in the truck. I'm like Brooks and Dunn. I'm a hard working man. I got um, the pole saw, pole hedge trimmers. I got the extension. I got the edger on. This is the Milwaukee fuel, you know, the quick change deal where you just change out your implements you want on there. So we are to be able to take care of a lot of properties today with all of this stuff right here. You know, this is just part of it when you own a lot of rental property is two or three times a year. We have to clean gutters, trim all these shrubs, and then if there's any places this ladder won't reach, then Zach sits in the bucket of the 3560 and I raise him up and he cleans the gutters out anywhere he feels unsafe because I've told him if I don't do anything unsafe. And I got the Milwaukee, the quick lock system. I put the hedge trimmers on it. It just actually makes it easier trimming these bushes right here. You just don't have to, you know, get up here and lean over them. You can just stand back and trim them. very versatile piece of equipment you got all those attachments of course i've got the weed eater attachment too and so this uh, wednesday thursday when we go out to mow i'll slap a weed eater on the end of it and then weed eat so it uh it's a very handy piece of you know equipment for me a tool for me is having that uh, milwaukee quick lock you can have a couple batteries blower you ready to do some lawn work Zach's coming on around. He's doing the back because it's lower to the ground back here. So we'll clean the front and, and such with the tractor, make it easier. Now, Zach had told me he'd done this before with his granddaddy. His granddad's got a big Kubota tractor, big, big one, big one, like over 100 horse. And uh, so I was comfortable doing it with him. You know, I've done this a lot had somebody raise me up and do it my ladder's not but about i don't know 14 foot something like that at the most stretched out and when you get it stretched out that far it's a little flimsy so we've done it this way a lot and i've raised people up and it's not really osha or the union that i'm worried about it's more his mama 
if she was to watch these videos, but I don't think she will. I don't think she knows about them. I know his dad wants him to learn how to work and work safely and and do stuff like this. You bucket. And uh, so I, I think his dad will be okay, but let's just hope his mama don't drive by, you know. And this tractor has a very smooth transmission. I'm in low range. I've got it in turtle on this H-DS system. And it's got a, just a really good smooth transmission to ease around. The loader handle, very smooth. You can ease him up and down. I'll show you in just a minute, but all of this just works really smooth where it's not herky-jerky. Hopefully you can see here as I'm going to back up. And you can just see how smooth and easy this does. And then now I'm going to start, I'll try to get you a little both of it here. I'm going to start letting Zach down. And, you know, it, this thing just really works smooth. You know, go on the... And it's just very easy the way all of this works. It, Kubota did a really good job on this tractor really a good job with the hydraulics, the loader, the transmission. The B2910 I've got, it's always been really jumpy. The transmission was, uh, you know, like you would push on the pedal a little bit and then it would jump with you. Let's go see what he's got. Are you getting a bucket load? Got a mess. Huh. <laughs> I don't know if them gutters need cleaning out or not. <laughs> or, so. or you want me to take you now? Uh, just, right just, down. just scoot in a little right here. Yeah, just right there. All right, I'll do it. pressure on my pumps and uh, but you can see how just smooth it raises him up now I'm just easing forward I mean there's no jerking in the transmission it's easy for me to keep him leveled out Kubota really did a good job on this tractor with the loader and the transmission that's kind of a low place in the roof right here. I'm going to set him up there and he's going to walk across the roof. There's some gutters up there. He can walk on that and reach. Zach's up on a flat part of the roof up here that He's going to blow it off with a blower. You know, I've seen those infomercials where it shows those people, says, you know, invest in real estate. Then it shows them sitting by the swimming pool or on vacation, living the big life. I missed that part, whatever that is, because I've got 23 properties and we're working on one of them somewhere about every day we're on something people moving in and out and doing like this maintenance and cleaning out leaves and all which i'm not complaining it's a good life where they talk about people investing in real estate and then they're just laying by the swimming pool or on vacation every day maybe i should have took that class i don't know because I hadn't figured out how to do that yet. You know, these things are, to me, it's uh, just like when we're doing this kind of work, this maintenance and stuff like that on them, it is 
just like if I go to Edward Jones or I go to some investment place and I'm sitting there and talking to them about investing money, you know, it's doing that. Well, this is the same thing. I'm taking care of my investment because these houses are my retirement. Uh, right now, all I'm doing is letting them maintain themselves, pay for themselves and maintain themselves. And, you know, I make a little bit off of them and I've got a few of them paid for. And but what I'm looking for is because uh, I've set them all up on 10 years. So they're all paid out in 10 years. Um, every time I buy one, um, I just set it up on 10 years and pay it out in 10 years. Um, so anyway, what I'm looking for is, you know, I'm 58 now is I'm looking for, you know, when I get 65, 70 years old and I'm not able to go like I am now. Hopefully I'm still able to go like I am now, but you know, if life starts slowing down, then that's when, you know, I can have some income off of them. And so that's anything that I do to them. You know, I just look at it like I'm taking care of my money, taking care of my investment. I think he's playing now. He, he's walking up there around that roof, blowing the roof off. I think he's just having fun now. You can just barely see his head just sticking up right there. All right, he's ready for me to pick him up. His mama be proud of him. Stepping off a roof into that bucket. <laughs> Gotta get him back under that tire line there. <laughs> hey, never no dull moment here. You know, rental property's not for everyone, but if it is for you and something you're thinking about, you know, it, it's just a good place to put your money, is in homes. The value of them goes up, I mean, the rent goes up on them. Um, it's just a good place, you know, the way I look at it, to put your money. Uh, we're moving down the road to the next location. You know, I, I just, I'm real hesitant about, I know a lot of you are interested in this side of it, the, the financial side of it, but one of the things that made it easy for me was we're in a small town we have a local bank here that I go to church with the president of the bank. Um, they've been just really helpful to me and helped me out a lot and done a lot of things for me and have made has made it you know easy for me buying rental property. Uh, if I had to go in, you know, I, I just can't imagine doing it in a big city, a large city, and. Uh, going into a big global bank and you don't know anybody Because uh, here in a small town, you know, everybody knows everybody and, uh, So that's made it easy For me to acquire all these properties when we had the recession in 2008 You know when we were down kind of in 2008 9 10 That's when I really picked up a lot of houses is when we came through that area right there. I was able to buy a lot of houses in and through that time. And that's where I made such a huge jump in the amount of houses that I bought. It's through that when we were in a recession. Well, me and Zach just got rained out. It come a pour down on us. Like, big time. But we got rained out. We got a lot of shrubs trimmed. I'm down here where Jason's working on the house right now. We'll check in on him. He may be curled up in the corner asleep down here somewhere. Where you at? You asleep? He got his earbuds in. He don't even know we're here. Got the DeWalt fan blowing. 
the wall light. He still don't know we're here. See his earbuds in his ear. We've been sneaking up on you wrong by standing back here behind you. I was like, he don't even know we're here. <laughs> I said, at least he wasn't curled up in the corner asleep. You talking about we like YouTube or we like there's someone else with you? We like YouTube. Oh, okay. We like a YouTuber. Looking good. Yeah. Well, guys, that's going to be all of it for today. I wanted to end it with Jason, show you where he was at. And uh, we'll see you another day. See you, YouTube. Y'all give us a thumbs up, guys. Yay. Hit that subscribe button, that bell. Bell notification. I've been, I've been sitting stagnant at whatever I'm at. I don't know. It's been sitting there for a while. I guess I may have reached my limit. Y'all have a blessed day.